Hi guys! Right, ah, oh, just had such a close game. SU-122-44. Is it a good little tank destroyer? What do you think? Well, let's get in. You probably know from the thumbnail. But let's get in and have a look at what you could do and almost do in the SU-122-44. Let's jump into it. So, at this stage, I didn't know what was going to be happening. I was thinking, let's just go in, tier 7 game, uh, it should be pretty fun. And I thought, well, I'll move over towards uh, B3, on the, uh, the, the eastern side of the map. So this is my view at the time, so I was just having a quick look around, see, see what, was, uh, what was happening. And I'm going to move up, aid the team, you know, pretty standard game. Do what you can do. The view range isn't the greatest on this, the mobility is, it's okay. The gun is okay. It's a, it's an interesting balance of factors. So you know, moving moving my way through, I'm not going to adjust any angles. So, so there's no shenanigans. There's no uh, zooming in and out. And so, so you know exactly what I was thinking at the top. Exactly what I was looking at. What I was thinking at. How the tank was reacting. And I'll try and talk you through the process of of what was happening. So moving. Well, I want to move up, get into an advantageous position, and start shooting them either in the face or in the flank, depending on where they are. So, our Cromwell's moving up, our Challenger's moving up, getting it into some interesting positions. So, we're moving forwards, got the uh, Cypher and uh, an Elf up ahead, and the IKV's been spotted on the opposing team. So, I'm, I want to move around, see if I can get a side shot. So, that's the thought. Move around, see what I can do, and a bad dog has been hit. Our poor little Cromwell, he's, he's taken some hits, but he's spotted a couple of tanks, so it's a nice situation. These guys in front are uh, the, the Challenger and TEF. 3485M are moving up and I was I was thinking at this stage if I move in I, I, I might be bullying them I may be causing them problems hampering them and I was thinking okay I'll, I'll try and pull back and um, go somewhere else be more more used to the team because they've, they've got they've got this location first I may be better in this location but um, they've got it first so uh, you yeah, know don't don't bug them I'm thinking okay see if I can help use uh, bad dog spotting and try and assist bad dogs so I'm moving down getting into into a cover position I've been spotted or I've, I've spotted the ISU so I'm using cover I'm using the rocks using the grooves to get into position to drop out from their uh, their radar and this stage I'm thinking come come on up use these bushes for cover and see what I can see try and assist uh, my little friend in the Cromwell I'll see what I can spot and I've seen the, the fourth thing but the Gun depression is is letting me down. I know I'm jeopardising myself, but I want to try and save his life. But I'm thinking I've been. I'll, I'm going to have shots in. I'm going to have RT and more TD. Best idea is to not be he, not be there. I can see the IKV coming in. The, their guys are moving in. They're really, really pushing. So, moving in, try and get shots, and Cromwell B moving up, getting ready, lining up a shot, shot through. I was hoping that would hit. It may well just have missed. He was just out of range. I'm trying my best. Now, where is this guy? Looking through, trying to find him. STRV. 2-2. Two, two. We're still holding things in the centre. I knock a bush as I move forward. But I need the additional cover, and that's nice. Get a better shot on him. Shot through. Take him out. 42 gone, and that's where the Cromwell has been spotted. So I'm trying to get a uh, shot through. Trying to get a side shot. Control the centre, and try and get some shots through. But he's disappeared from radar. I'm waiting for him to still pop up, and that's... So I keep trying. I'm hoping I can get a thin shot on him, take him down. Three, four. Our guys are dropping the ball seriously in the yellow corner. So I'm thinking, move forward, see what I can spot. Try and try and assist. Try and I'm, I'm looking for the P43 at the time because I, I, he was in the centre. That's when he gets spotted. So I try and get a shot through. I actually yeah, make a mistake, push over slightly too much, and uh, then I have to pull myself back. Haven't been spotted get into a better position, hoping for a shot up, or at least spot him. It's 5-6, we're still holding it. I'm hoping for a side shot, can't quite do it. And they can see the ISU uh, coming up behind. It's now gone to 5-7, things are going a little bit pear-shaped. So I want to move into a better position, try and get shots back up towards the ridge. So I'm going to use these bushes for cover, looking to see what I can see up on the ridge. I don't want to cross over too much if there's something, a TD or something that's going to put a shot into me from behind. The challenge has been seen, but he's not able to see me. So I'm moving through, using the bushes for cover. 
and sadly our 3485 has just rushed out of position and got himself killed. 3485 on their side has been uh, spotted, so time to get a shot through, another couple of hundred points. I was hoping for a second shot, but he, he didn't. He, he repaired the track and pulled back. P43 coming in that way, so I was hoping for a shot over. The challenger's moving back into position. I can see him getting in, uh, moving up towards uh, D1, D2, hoping for a, a rear shot on me. It's now 7-11. I've only got one kill, and I inadvertently knocked a bush down, so yeah, I would I, be reprimanding myself for that. That's a bad uh, bad situation. I'm hoping for a side shot on the 43. I've got bushes behind me, so I'm hoping I can stay in cover without being spotted and take it to him. Now, where is he? I need shots. I know their team are pushing th pushing around, possibly into the centre, possibly round towards B56. We've got our Dicker Max and the, the Surya Mill coming in, and then the IKV gets spotted. So a layup and do a shot in as he's on the move get it that's him taken down so second kill boom he's gone and I haven't been spotted the signals haven't, haven't gone up and that's when the, the 43 gets spotted and I accidentally in my haste to try and turn around I accidentally knocked down another tree because it's so important I take this guy down another three he's 377 on him from the center up I was hoping to get a shot on but he's gone as well Astur Mill, whoever has got just taken him down, the Dickamax took him down. Nice move. Okay, 3485 moving up into base. I'm hoping the, the RT and uh, one of the TDs can deal with him. So I'm turning back towards the Challenger, and that's when I see the IKV coming in. Auto aim, and boom, take him down. They know where I am. They had an idea. He was searching for me. He hadn't found me up until that point, and he's gone. So, 10 11. And I'm thinking, okay. Two TDs versus three, hidden and with Artie backup. I knock the tree over on purpose to make them think that I'm heading straight up the hill. So that's the. I, it, I did that, that one on purpose. That one I didn't so much. Because I, again, I turned and saw and I wanted the shot and I, I, I was just reacting to try and get the shot. The other one prior to this, knocking it down, was actually on purpose to give an indicator that I was heading towards the base to hopefully get them to move towards their base so I could get a side shot on them and that's when the challenger spots me and I'm, I need to get out of here so I'm moving trying to get a shot on him he's he re, he's realized he's a really good player he's realized uh, that that I was coming back for him and he he's moved back into cover so I keep moving forward try and get into a better position that was a nice shot by him took my tracks off and that could could have caused I think that additional little bit of slowness so I, I move forward that that little bit of slowness could have been a, a factor at the end of the game he think if he thinks I'm moving up I'm then hoping he crosses the ground to come in behind me so I've set up in an ambush position waiting for him hoping to see either him the ISU or the T-34 coming round as we've got them boxed into a corner at the moment so we and then suddenly the 3485 has been seen and the ISU has given his position away but the challenger is still not he's still playing it like a pro so I'm thinking I've got to try and do something I'm hoping that the two TDs can take out the uh, the medium at this stage I was thinking okay I'm going to uh, to move around and actually yeah uh, I was thinking, do I go up and help? I was hoping for a side shot. No shot up. So that was what I was hoping for. I was hoping for a side shot as he poked over. But he didn't uh, give himself away. Then I, was, I wanted to try and get a shot on the uh, ISU-122. But with our tank destroyers gone, I thought at this stage, they, they've died really quickly. And I thought, okay, the RT isn't going to last long. I need to find their arty, try and rebalance the situation. I fixed the track so I can get up the uh, the hill more easily. And I'm going hunting for their arty. I thought, well, he, if someone comes close, he can derp them in the face. It'll give us a little bit of time. And I thought, well, he can he can decap if they start capping. And that was what was going through my head. I thought, if I can even the balance, take out their uh, their arty first, then move in and come right come in 
and because I can't, I, I wouldn't be able to cap two tanks, and that's where the challenge has been seen. So at this stage, I was still moving up. I wanted to take the arty down. I thought the uh, the M44 may take the Challenger down because he's uh, he's um, a thinly armoured, and then the M44 goes down the hill, and I'm thinking actually um, I. I may need to turn around because he's coming my way. And I thought, okay, well, that, 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 that's a good thing. He's getting safe. The challenge is coming down, and I know I've got a target behind me. So, moving into position, get the gun depression, aim in, get ready. He stopped moving. Shot in. And I've got to take this guy down because he's too good. 3485 gets a shot on me. I'm going to line, getting ready to line up on him, and he pulls back. And I'm thinking, if I pull back, I'm in trouble. So, I need to use these rocks for cover. <coughs> get him cover. I was hoping for a shot on him. I was lining up, getting to cover, and I know I need to uh, to get in and assist my, my little buddy. So I'm pushing down the hill as fast as I can. Use the trenches, get into position, and they're starting to cap. So I know I've got to uh, speed this all up. Get th through the bushes under cover, down behind these rocks. He can't see me, so I want to get in this little divot down here to start coming in on the base. Because there's a minute and I'm hoping to be able to make it. It's going to be really, really close. Using all of this uh, the shrubbery for cover. I'm risking it a bit in case he spotted me. I, I could have gone that way but that would have jeopardised myself. And if he... I would have been able to see me cover, coming across that top bit. And that could have potentially... That slowness would have meant I got there faster but potentially would have meant that the uh, 3485 could have had a side shot on me. Now I'm disappearing from view by the time I, he'd have seen me and he'd have had a very thin op a window of opportunity to shoot me. So I'm moving in. The 3485M has been spotted. The M44 has potentially uh, had a go towards him. 12 seconds. It is so, so close. If this was a little bit faster... It, come on, come on. Can you do it? Come on. And then through. Come on. Come on. And that, that's when I spot him. They've capped it. I get a shot in. And I would have got the shot in. But that is the, that is the game. So sad. Defeat. I would have taken him down. I'd have then turned. Gone for the 3485M. And a one-on-one -on -one fight. Guarding our cap taking him down or gun hunting I'd, I'd, I'd probably at that stage gone hunting because he's slow he's slower than me and then I'd have turned around and gone for the arty let's go and have a look at those post game stats ah oh, shucks so the post game stats like you see sadly sometimes it's just not quite good enough so second class few other awards tank sniper plus high caliber 2,800 points of damage, 4 kills, bounce 280 points, and it's just not quite enough. But, it was a pretty good showing. This is what you can do. 9 shots, 9 hit, 9 pens, distance of 300 uh, meters or more, 1,500 points of damage, 51,000 credits, 1,500 experience, with the coach resistance bonus, this wasn't even a times 2 or a times 4 like it could be. But it was a good showing of what the SU-122 can do. I hope you like this. Sometimes even I can't quite make it. If I... Another few seconds. If the guys had held out that little bit longer. If I'd got to the RT earlier. Because I was, I was going to take out the, uh, the, the light and then go hunting the RT or capping. With the options. But they had to cap out. Because they feared that I might take them. And they were pretty right about that. So, I hope you like it. I'm the Gaming Bear. This is Ted and Pikachu. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. See ya.